Hey, welcome back to my cooking channel. Today, let's make chicken coconut curry. First of all, let me thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my videos. Um, let's start with making this yummy chicken curry. Uh, I've made up a whole list of ingredients that you need for this one. Here you can see the list of ingredients. Uh, I know it's a few extra ingredients in there, but it makes it tasty. So in a dry pan, I have added coconut and I'm going to roast this. There's no right or wrong way of putting the thing ingredients into your pan. So I've first gone in with the coconut and then I add one by one all the other ingredients. I give this a good mix and I used um, grated frozen coconut because I don't get fresh coconut. So this is frozen but I've thawed it out for a few hours before. And I've gone in with all the other ingredients now, coriander and everything else one by one. Chuck it all in there. Curry leaves. At this, once you start frying all this, it gives you these different aromas from all the spices. I use, I use green chilies and um, Kashmiri chilies. You can add whatever chilies you like but I feel the Kashmiri gives it a better flavor. And then a bit of garam masala and all the other dry spices go in there. Give it a nice mix. This takes about 15 to 20 minutes to roast all together. And you'll see once it's roasted, the color of um, the coconut and everything else changes to a light golden brown when you know it's ready. So I've given it a good mix. So everything is mixed. And then it turns to a golden brown after about 15 to 20 minutes. So this is what it should look like. And then I transfer it once it's cooled into a blender. And to aid in the blending, I've added a little bit of water at a time. To in here, I've also added the tamarind paste to give it a little tangy taste and give it a good blitz. Make And this is what it should look like in the end. So I've heated the pot up, added oil to it. And then I'm going to add a few curry leaves for that extra special flavor. And I've also marinated my chicken at the same time with salt and ginger garlic paste and left it aside. And I'm going to add that chicken to this hot oil and fry it for a few minutes before I add the curry paste that is um, blended. So I've added all the chicken in here. And I'm going to give it a little fry. So you can see here the chicken is partly cooked. And now I'm going to add the curry paste, a few spoons of that. You can freeze the curry paste once it's cool and use it for a f future date for something else. And I'm going to give this a little mix, coat all the chicken with the curry paste. And give it a light mix. So now to the chicken, I'm going to add one stock cube, chicken stock cube. I just crumble it in. You can dissolve it in a bit of hot water and use it that way. I prefer doing it this way. So I, that's, and then I'm going to add the potatoes in. That's one chopped potato, diced. And then I'm going to cover this and cook it for till the potato and the chicken is cooked. So maybe 10 to 15 minutes. You can check for salt at this stage. Add some more if you need to cover it and then it's ready. You serve it with hot rice or flatbreads. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. 